Regardless of how good of an Amazon seller you are, it's inevitable that you're going to get negative reviews. So in this video, I'm going to show you four Amazon compliant ways on how you can get these negative reviews removed from your product listings so that you can maintain a high four to five star review rating. Did you know it takes more than just one five star review to offset a single one star review? Amazon recently changed how the review rating system works. You can see here that it says we don't use a simple average making it even more important now that you actively monitor and remove negative reviews from your listings. It's also equally important that you have a strategy in place to keep getting positive reviews coming in for the long term so they can offset any negative reviews that you do get. But don't worry, I'll show you a powerful strategy on how you can do that later on in the video. But first, Amazon has strict review guidelines. You can't just contact your shoppers and ask them to change their review or offer them an incentive to do so. So how can you remove these reviews without violating Amazon's terms of service? Well, thankfully, Amazon has a new tool to help sellers do just that. Amazon recently launched a new tool called the Customer Review Page. This is where brands can easily track all of their new customer reviews and offer buyers a solution when the star rating is lower than four. You can also offer unhappy customers support or relief to improve customer satisfaction. So to access the new customer reviews page, you need to be brand registered. Then in Seller Central, navigate over to the menu, click on Brands, Customer Reviews. Here, you'll see a list of all of your reviews and you can filter the list to only show the one, two, and three star reviews by clicking on the star rating button here. Then reach out to your shoppers. Remember, you can't ask them to remove or change their review or offer them an incentive to do so. So what I suggest is sending them a message that's customized for the product or situation they're experiencing. Here's an example that you can copy and use for yourself. Hello, my name is Crescent and I'm the owner of your brand. I want to reach out personally to address the issue you've experienced with our product. I sincerely apologize for any frustration this has caused and assure you that we're committed to making it right. We've already initiated a refund for your order. And in addition, we'd be more than happy to send you a replacement item or offer another product from our catalog if that would help. Please let us know if there's anything further that we can do to resolve this for you. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to improve your experience. Now, make sure you contact your shoppers as soon as possible. The sooner you reach out to them, the better the chance that they will respond in a positive manner. In fact, I've found that around 10 to 20% will actually go back and update their review from a one star to a four or five star after you reach out to them. Now, taking advantage of this new tool from Amazon is an excellent way to turn negative reviews into positive ones, but it takes manual effort. Depending on how many reviews you're getting, you may want to do this daily or on a weekly basis because like I mentioned earlier, this strategy works best when you can respond to your shoppers as soon as possible. Now, there's also a way to automate this process. Sellerize has a tool called Review Puncher where you can create custom rules. In this case, you can set it up to send an automated message to your one, two, and three star reviews like you can see here. So if you get a lot of reviews, this automated solution can save you tons of time. I'll leave a link to a free trial for Sellerize down in the description below, as well as a coupon for a huge discount if you decide to upgrade. Now, there's two additional ways you can get negative reviews removed, and these are reviews that don't meet Amazon's review guidelines. Just like for sellers, Amazon has review guidelines for buyers, and if their review doesn't meet those requirements, you can have them removed, and it's actually pretty simple to do that. Let me show you how. On your product listing, navigate over to your reviews, and click on the one, two, and three star reviews here. So let's start with the one star reviews, then change this to most recent. Now you can see a list of all of your most recent one star reviews. You can toggle to the two and three star reviews using the drop down menu here. Now read through the reviews and take note of any reviews that do not conform to Amazon's review guidelines. You can have those removed. I'll go over the guidelines in a second. Now, if you have Helium 10, you can also use their Review Insights tool to filter out recent reviews. You can filter out only the one, two, and three star reviews here and choose a date range like the last month and read through the list of recent reviews here. All right, now let's take a look at what Amazon's review guidelines are so that you know what to look for. First, you can have reviews removed if the customer mentioned anything to do with the seller, order, or shipping. 
The review can't focus on sellers and the customer service they provide. Ordering issues and returns, shipping or packaging, product condition and damage, and the shipping cost and speed. The review also can't be about the pricing or availability. For example, you can see here that it says, if it's related to the value of the product, it's okay to comment on price. For example, for only $29, this blender is really great. However, pricing comments related to an individual experience isn't allowed. For example, found this item here for $5 less than at my local store. You can also remove reviews if they're written in an unsupported language. For example, if someone leaves a review in French on the US Amazon marketplace where only English and Spanish are supported. Reviews also cannot have repetitive text, spam, or pictures created with symbols. It can't contain any private information such as a phone number, email address, order number, and so on. They also can't contain any profanity or harassment as well as any hate speech. No sexual content unless it's specific to a sexually related product. No external links. And one of the most egregious type of reviews, no ads, conflicts of interest, and promotional content. It's becoming more common nowadays where sellers will try to influence other listings by leaving negative reviews or ads on their competitors' listings. So if you find any of these, you can have those removed as well. And of course, they cannot mention any illegal activities or make any medical claims. And I'll leave a link to this guideline down in the description below so you can refer back to it. But you can see here, it says, consequences for violations remove their content. So go through your one, two, and three star reviews, and if you find any that don't conform to these guidelines, you can report them and have them removed. You can see here that you can use the report link near the content that you want to report. So for example, if I wanna report this review, I can click on the report link here, choose the appropriate reason, and submit it. Amazon will then investigate and take the appropriate action. Now here's a pro tip. Most beginners don't know this, but shoppers can also leave what's called seller feedback. These are reviews left on your seller profile, not on your product page. You also wanna make sure that you maintain a high seller feedback rating. And just like for product reviews, Amazon has guidelines for seller feedback, and if the reviews don't conform to those guidelines, you can also have those removed. You can see here that it says, Amazon will remove feedback if it determines doing so is necessary because of the following cases. The feedback includes words commonly understood to be obscene or profane. The feedback includes seller-specific, personally identifiable information, including email addresses, full names, or telephone numbers. The entire feedback comment is a product review. For example, the Acme Super Widget lacks the sharpness and speed of the Acme Ultra Widget. And this happens all the time. So if someone leaves a product review on your seller feedback, you can have that removed. You can view your seller feedback in Seller Central by navigating to the menu and click on Performance, Feedback Manager. And to remove the feedback, you can click over here and choose Request Removal. For example, you can see here that this feedback didn't conform to Amazon seller feedback guidelines, so it was removed. This item was fulfilled by Amazon and we take responsibility for this fulfillment experience. Now, in order to maintain a high review rating for your products, it's important that you have a strategy in place to keep the product reviews coming in. The problem is shoppers don't like to leave reviews. In fact, the average sales to review ratio is only around 1%. That means for every 100 sales, you might get one product review. So to help boost your sales and offset any negative reviews that you do get, I've been using a powerful review strategy to drastically improve the sales to review ratio and keep the positive reviews rolling in on a long-term basis. And let me show you how that works. Now, the most powerful long-term review strategy is using product insert cards, but not the standard cards that you've all seen before. These standard insert cards typically say thank you for your purchase on them, and they have more information about the product, warranty details, or any other marketing or ads on them. And almost all of them also ask the buyer to leave a product review, like the example that you see here. Well, these product insert cards are useless. Almost everyone just takes one look at them and tosses them away in the garbage. And that's because they are one dimensional. It's a massive hurdle to get your customers to actually take action and leave you a product review on your Amazon listing. It just doesn't work. What turned me on to this new strategy is this one time I bought something on Amazon, a USB extension cable to be exact, and inside the package was an insert card that said I can get another USB cable for free. I was like, really? 
sweet, who doesn't want another free USB cable? So I scanned the QR code on the insert card and it took me to their website where I filled in my order details and my contact information so that they can send me the free USB cable. And on the final step, it asked me how I liked the USB cable that I bought and if I'd be willing to share my feedback on their Amazon listing. And that's when it hit me. This is genius. I never would have taken the time to do any of this in the past. This strategy is so powerful because it doesn't even mention reviews on the insert card. It's offering something that the buyer actually wants and sees value in, a free gift. So how can you incorporate this strategy for yourself? Because I know what you're thinking. This is awesome, but I don't have a website or I don't know how to create one that does this, so how can I do this? Well, guess what? There's a tool that does it all for you. Because so many people have been asking me how they can do this themselves over the years, Normally, you would have to hire a web developer to create a website with this functionality, but I've gone ahead and created a tool that does all of this for you. Head on over to reviewscango.com and in just five easy steps, you can create a campaign, choose what type of gift you'd like to offer from a free gift, a coupon code, a digital download like an ebook or warranty, or you don't even have to offer a free gift at all. You can just collect email addresses if you want, and the tool will automatically generate a QR code that you can download and print onto your insert cards. When your buyers scan the QR code, they're brought directly into your own personally branded funnel, like you can see here, where the tool will collect their order details so that you can verify their purchase, collect their information so that you can build your own email list, and then ask them for their feedback. And Review Scan Go has made this extremely frictionless for your buyers. With one simple click, it automatically copies their review and takes them directly to your Amazon product detail page where they can paste their review. How awesome is that? With this strategy, you can collect much more reviews as well as email addresses for your future marketing and retargeting needs. But here's what makes Review Scan Go even more powerful. If the buyer wasn't 100% happy with their purchase, for example, they didn't choose that they were 100% satisfied here, then on the last step of the funnel, it will only collect their feedback for your own internal use and analysis. It won't ask them to share their review on Amazon. Notice that the share on Amazon section isn't here in this case. This prevents bad experiences from getting shared onto your Amazon product listing. And guess what? Review Scan Go is 100% Amazon compliant. Your buyers are never incentivized to leave you only positive reviews, and they're not required to leave a review in order to redeem their free gift. Instead of just throwing the insert card into the trash, this strategy catches your customer's attention by offering them something of value, and all they have to do is scan the QR code on the card. We've been using this strategy for years, and now it's even easier for all of you as well. With Review Scan Go, you can collect unlimited reviews and create unlimited campaigns and promotions. The starter plan is the perfect solution for those launching their very first product. In fact, you can join right now and create your first campaign for free and try it out for yourself. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Now, getting reviews fast is just one part of boosting your sales during a product launch. To help generate even more sales is properly keyword optimizing your product listing and PPC campaigns that focus on sales conversions, not search volume, a strategy that will help boost your listing rank in the search results. And this video right over here will show you exactly how to do that.